Sherlock Holmes back with all you beautiful people at home. And we are down to our final eight in this year's Literary Survivor. In a tragic turn of events last week, we lost no less than three of our previous contenders. First, our ever-wicked Witch of the West met her demise when she learned that this Survivor Island does indeed come with its fair share of water. But where is Bella Swan? Alas for our ever useless Bella Swan, she met her end when Robert Thorne decided to cure his boredom by recreating Soylent Green. <laughs> Thorne is also disqualified. Or even humans? Yes, Dracula, don't get any ideas. Now, it's time to introduce to you our final eight. First, we have the blind, the unhappy Oedipus. Oedipus, <laughs> what would you say has been your main strategy? How, how, what is the main reason you've gotten so far in this competition? <laughs> yes, well, <clears throat> why don't we move on to Dracula then? Or not. How about Tess of the Dermavilles? Tess, what has been your main strategy for these events so far? Um, I don't really know. I'm just very afraid. <laughs> <laughs>